I created this quick video to show you how you can build all your multi-cloud strategies on Brandboard. So let's get started. As you can see here, you can use on Brandboard either AWS, Azure, OCI, GCP or Scaleway. For example, in our use case, AWS Landing Zone, you have all the resources that you can use. For example, here you have areas, here compute, network, storage, database, security and identity, tools, AI, analytics, application, IoT, and over. For example, here, let's say that you would like to use an instance. To use it is very easy, simply need to drag and drop the resource. The article will be automatically open. So here, you can use it to configure your resource. And again, everything that you do on the design will be automatically reflected on your Terraform code. And here, you can find all your Terraform files. So for example, this infrastructure, I found it directly in templates, in AWS, here, I wrote landing zone and then you can find and use the landing zone infrastructure that you can see here. Now let's switch to Azure. For Azure, we open the architecture. Then we switch to Azure. Here we can select a specific version. Again, here we have all the resources that we can use to build, for example, this infrastructure. So again, simply need to drag and drop the resource. Here, for example, API management, you can look at the Terraform code. You open the ID card and look at how this resource has been configured. For example, here, require parameter, advanced configuration. Here, extra attribute with the meta arguments of Terraform. Count depends on and for each. Now, let's switch here, for example, to GCP load balancer. So here we select GCP. Here we have the Terraform code. And again, you have all the resources that you can use to build this infrastructure or simply modify it. Here, now we can switch to OCI. So here I open it, OCI, the Terraform code. Here, switch to OCI. And we have all the resources that we can use as well. Now we can combine all of this infrastructure that I've showed you in one architecture. So for example, here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to templates. For example, it's going to be AWS landing zone. So here, for example, is this one to use it, clone the template into a new architecture. So here you have the architecture that I showed you earlier. Then now what we can do is that we can go to templates. We look for Azure. Here is data landing zone. It was this one. Here now we need to copy this template into the current architecture. Here we have resources from AWS and resources from Azure. Now we continue, for example, for GCP. So for GCP, this is the one that I showed you earlier. Copy the template into the current architecture. And now what we can do is that templates here OCI and then here copy the template into a new architecture. So as you can see here, you have the architecture for OCI. So here you make it bigger and you group the resources. So here you can just say instead of main, you can OCI resources. Save it. Now you have you decrease it and you have the resources for GCP. So here what you can do is that you can group them. So here you have GCP resources. Save. Now for example here for Azure you select all of these resources. So here we select all of them. Then here we can go and say it's only Azure resources. So here it's Azure resources, save. And then now what we can do is the same for AWS. So here we simply need to choose all of these here. We select all of these resources. Now we say it's only 
AWS resources. We save it. So now what you can see is that here we have created multiple Terraform files with AWS resources, only find AWS resources here, Azure resources, only with Azure. Then here we have GCP resources, and then we have OCI resources here. What you can do as well here is that you go to cloud providers, you can set up your own cloud credentials for AWS, you simply need to fill out all of these fields. Microsoft Azure, same thing here. GCP and here OCI. Here, for example, on data, you have the choice either to use AWS S3. So here, edit S3, Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud or Brandbook Backend. Once it's done, you can go back here to the CI CD, you can use, for example, this one, use the templates, and then here you have Terraform commands, infra cost for costs estimation, TFSEC to detect any potential vulnerabilities, TerraScan, you send email to another team, for example, the team of Cloud Architect, and then you do the provisioning directly from Brandboard. So here we go to the design, we use this one. So for example, here I can show you another example that has been created by one of our community members, for example, here. You see resources from GCP, resources from Azure, and then resources from AWS. And again, for example, here, I can show you the same thing, is that I choose GCP, and here I can group the resources and say it's GCP resources. You save it. And then here you have GCP resources. Here you have Azure resources here. So here it's Azure resources. And then now what you can do is the same thing for AWS. So here choose group the resources here it's AWS resources and then you save it and here you have all the resources and with the Terraform files that you have created so here this is how you can build your own multi-cloud strategies on brand board here by either creating them single cloud or combining them for example this is what we have done by different templates or directly by building it from scratch like what our community member has done with Azure, AWS and GCP. And here, for example, for modules, you can find the same thing. You have modules for Google, for OCI, for Azure. And here you have also module, for example, for AWS. So Brandboard has been built as a multi-cloud strategy in mind. So if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use case on Brandboard. Have a great day.